Hi, welcome to this SQL Server video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve single and multiple columns from the database table. So let's get started. Now, before we do that, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get the notification of new videos. So let's see exactly what we're going to do. Now, under our databases, we have this transaction data database. And also under the tables, we have this data table. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to write a select all query or statement to retrieve all the columns. And then we can do the single and the multiple columns retrieval. So I'm going to start by typing select, which is the most simplest statement in SQL Server query. Select, then I put in the asterisk sign or what is called the wildcard. And then I'm going to point to the name of the table, which is this data. Now, the convention that I love to use is to provide the name of the database followed by the DBO schema and then the name of the table. So the name of the database is transaction data. So let me just type in that transaction data and I press the tab key dot DBO. DBO simply means database owner schema and then I put in dot and I point to the name of the table, which is data. Now everything is looking good. I click on this execute and all the columns are retrieved. This is cool. Now let's assume I want to retrieve this single column, which is the largest city. Now I'm going to do that in a more unique way, which is also simple. So I'm going to just come down and say select. Then instead of using the wildcard or the all, I'm going to provide the name of the column. Now, this column has larger series, which are two words. So I need to actually put that inside square bracket. Okay, so square bracket, and I need to, and I need to actually type it accurately, larger city. Okay, and I close the square bracket. And then I'm going to say from transaction data database dot dbo dot, then the name of the table. Now, if everything is looking good, I won't have any underlined with in you know, red so everything is fine so and i grab this alone and i click on execute cool so we have the largest city single column retrieved now let's assume we want to do multiple columns i'm just you know get this all the columns back okay I click on execute now let's say we want to do you know payment method and um, total revenue so which are multiple columns anyway non-contiguous multiple column now let's do that i'm just going to say select also payment method is a combination of two words and i need to put that inside the square bracket so let's see payment payment method and i close the square bracket and i need to put in the comma to move to the next column that i want to specify to do the term and also um Let's see total revenue. Revenue. So I close the square bracket and I'm going to say from again transaction data database dot dbo schema and the name of the table data. Cool. Let's see. Amazing. Everything is looking good. So I grab all these and I click on execute or F5. Boom. So I have two columns. Okay. Payment method and in total revenue let's say I want to factor in price so let me just put in price here let's say I'm going to price is a single word so I don't need to worry with that just put in my comma and let's see okay let me just grab all this first execute okay let me scroll to the right okay all right okay let's use order quantity rather instead of price I do not have any price column Okay, order quantity, which is also a combination of two words. Also in square bracket, order quantity. So I can actually select from here, press my tab key, comma to separate the columns. And when I grab everything and I click on execute, boom, I have all the three columns in the order that I specified. So this is essentially how to retrieve single and multiple columns in SQL Server. Again, please hit the subscribe button because there's a lot to come on Excel, on SQL Server, and on Tableau. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.